When you have interest with total principal, define the variables first. Next, make an equation for the investment. Next, make an equation for the interest. And remember that when using a percent, you must convert to decimal. In example one, A woman invests $4,600 in two different accounts. So there's an account A and an account B. Because there's two different accounts. The first paid 13%, so there's some amount at 13%. And an another amount at 12 percent. At the end of the first year, she had earned $586 in interest. So we know that there's an amount A plus an amount B, and that equals $4,600 total that she invested. Then we know that she invested the first amount, A, at 13 percent. So we'll multiply 0.3 times that amount plus 0.12, sorry, 0.13 A plus 0.12 of B, or the amount, multiplied to the 12 percent, and she made $586 total. Now we have two equations, and we can multiply the first equation by negative 0.13. This will allow our a's to drop out. So rewriting this equals five ninety eight. That's my first equation. My second equation remains the same thirteen A point one three A plus 0.12b is equal to 586. Adding across, the a's add to zero, the b's are negative 0.01b, and that equals 12. Dividing by negative 0.01 on both sides, I get B is equal to 1200. Now that I know B, I can find A. If A plus B is equal to 4600, and I know that B is equal to 1200, then if I subtract 1200 from both sides, A is equal to 3400. So these are the two amounts that were invested. In example B, a bank loaned out 4,900 to two different companies. The first loan had a 4 percent interest rate 
and the second had a 13% interest rate. So A and B will represent the amount invested at 4% and B will represent the amount invested at 13%. Now, we can write an equation. We know that all together, the amount of A plus B equals $4,900. We also know that at the end of the first year, the loan had accrued $421. So, the interest rate times the amount of A plus the interest rate times the amount of B is equal to this total interest. If I multiply the first equation by negative point zero four, my A's will drop out. This will give me negative point zero four A minus point zero four B is equal to negative 196. The second equation remains the same. Adding together, my A terms add to zero. My B terms end up being positive 0 0.09 b equals 225. Dividing both sides by 0 0.09, b is equal to $2,500. If we know how much b is equal to, we can easily find a. a plus B is equal to $4,900. So if B is equal to $2,500, if we subtract $2,500 from both sides, we get A is equal to $2,500. And those are my values for A and B.